very great honor to hear from you. Uh, is Maharas online? Um, yes, he's online, but his his camera is not connected yet. No, maybe uh, Siam Rasika has to help uh, one minute. Yeah, yeah, it's already there. Okay, now Hare Krishna so Maharaj. Jai Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Bol. Welcome from all the devotees from around the world. They're very nice to come to Sri Ranga and see wonderful Lord Rangana. So, I'd like to speak a little bit about the glories of this, that whole, this holy place, Sri Ranga and Lord Rangana, in relation to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. First, I'll offer my businesses, Vancha Kaupa Tarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhaivacha Patitanam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasari Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare So as we heard the temple there at Sri Rangam is the it's certainly the largest in India maybe not in the world because bigger temples are there in Cambodia like Angkor Wat it's bigger biggest temple in the world generally considered but it's the biggest Vaishnav temple Sri Rangam is the biggest Vaishnava temple and has amazing history it, there are seven walls surrounding the temple and these walls were built up over the years over the centuries to defend the deity of Lord Rangana from the invaders Sometimes they would be attacked by the Shivites and sometimes Muslims also came. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Srila Prabhupada describes at one time, 1200 Sri Vaishnavas were killed during an attack by the, the Muslims. And at that time, the deity of Lord Ranganath was moved from Tirupati, uh, from, from Sri Rangam to Tirupati. And then, and didn't make it to Tirupati, went to another place and came back after three years. So anyway, very important deity for the, the Sri Vaishnavas. Ramanuja Acharya stayed there. We saw how Ramanuja Acharya, Samadhi is there in Sri Rangam. He lived, Ramanuja Acharya lived to be 130 years old when he finally left the body. So he has he had many, many disciples and he spent many years living there. Kula Shekar, one of the important Alwars, also he stayed there in, in Sri Rangam. And also Yamunacharya, who was before Ramanujacharya, Maharaj Yamunacharya, he also stayed in Sri Rangam and he managed the affairs of the Sri Rangam temple. So it's a, the biggest Vaishnava temple with seven walls and seven roads around the temple as well. Very important. Uh, an area, I think about 140, 136 acres of land, you, a huge area of land. We saw the, in the video how big the temple is, so massive, so great. Because this is the mood of the Sri Vaishnavas. Their mood in worship is more with Aishwarya, with on reverence, on veneration. And so Chaitanya Charitamrita describes how Lord Chaitanya came there and he went there and he danced in ecstasy in front of Lord Rangana. And Venkatabhata, who was one of the priests there in Sri Rangam, he invited Lord Chaitanya to come to his home and take food. And then at that time, he told Lord Chaitanya that now is the beginning of the Chaturmasya. So you kindly stay here for four months and bless our home and you can tell us topics of Lord Krishna. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted the invitation and every day he would come, every day he would take his bath in Kaveri and then he would go and see Lord Rangana and he would dance in ecstasy. 
And of course, at that time, we also know that on his way to the temple, he saw the illiterate Brahmana reciting Bhagavad Gita. And Lord Chaitanya also declared this Brahmana to be the actual reader of the Bhagavad Gita. And Lord Chaitanya personally instructed that Brahmana in the recitation of the Bhagavad Gita. So Lord Chaitanya showed us that scholarship is not the most important thing but he's more concerned with the heart, with the mood of devotion. And he recognized that illiterate Brahman to be the real reader of the Bhagavad Gita. Lord Chaitanya was discussing with Venkata Bhatta about who is actually the Supreme Lord. Because it's for the Sri Vaishnavas, they do not consider Krishna to be the personality of Godhead. They consider Lord Krishna to be avatar of Vishnu. And they consider Lord Vishnu or Narayan to be the Supreme Lord. And his consort, just like Ando, one of the hours, she was, she was married to Lord Rangana. And eventually she also entered into the deity there in the temple. So Ando was considered an incarnation of the goddess of fortune. So the, for the Sri Vaishnavas, it's Lord Narayan or Lord Vishnu, who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and they consider Lord Krishna to be avatar. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu pointed out to Venkata Bhatta that if this is so, why is it that Lakshmi came to Vrindavan and performed austerities? Why is it Lakshmi was unchaste? She has her husband Narayan. Why did she come to get Krishna? And Venkata Bhatta said, oh, you're joking with me. Come on, you know, Krishna and Narayan are the same. Oh, Lord, Krishna, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was pleased. He said, yeah, that's right. They're the same. But at the same time, there's some difference. And then Lord Chaitanya pointed out to Venkata Bhatta. He said that, you know, the goddess of fortune She's attracted to be with Krishna, but the gopis of Vrindavan, they're not attracted to Lord Narayan. And the pastime is there, how the gopis were running everywhere looking for Lord Krishna. And when they saw Lord Narayan, they offered their obeisances to Lord Narayan. And then they asked them, where is Lord Krishna? Which way did Lord Krishna go? And so this pastime indicates how the gopis are attracted to Krishna. The goddess of fortune is also attracted to Krishna. The gopis are not attracted to Lord Narayan. They offer their obeisances to him. And the gopis are only attracted to Krishna. So it's Krishna who is the Supreme Lord. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu convinced Gop uh, Venkatabhata of the supreme, supreme position of Lord Krishna. And the result was that the son of Venkata Bhatta, Gopal Bhatta, he finally left the home and came to live in Vrindavan. And when Lord Chaitanya heard how Gopal Bhatta had come to live in Vrindavan, then he wrote to Rupan Sanatan and told Rupan Sanatan, you should accept Gopal Bhatta just like your younger brother. So Gopal Bhatta lived there in Vrindavan with Rupa and Sanatan, and together they wrote Bhakti and very important Shastras, Bhakti Shastras, and also Gopal Bhatta established the Radha Raman temple there in Vrindavan with the wonderful deity of Radha Raman, self-manifested from the Shaligram Shila. So this was all due to Lord Chaitanya visiting Sri Rangam and spending four months there giving his mercy to the Sri Vaishnavas. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai. Ranganath Dham ki. Hare Krishna. Marichi, please unmute. Thank you, Maharaj, for your nice class. It was wonderful. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Yes. And you know, we have a surprise.